Guys, uh, impressions today, okay? No memes. Well, there might be one or two memes. We'll make you watch the whole episode and then you might be disappointed or happy. Either one, you'll have to well, find out. You're, you're really selling it to the I know, right? Up, you right? guys are excited now. Well, today we're going to be talking about Days Gone, okay? It's The Last of Us meets Sons of Anarchy, really. Meets basic. every open world game ever. Meets, yeah, pretty much. So we've got some things to say about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Maybe, you know, we'll stretch this to 10.01 and we'll tell you. So Days Gone has been in development for six years at this point. Six years. Also, Anthem's also been in development for six right. years. Now, we this is not an Anthem video, okay? We've done like six in a row now. That's okay, right. so this is a new episode today. Our consoles are currently being repaired as we exactly speak. Exactly right. They're broken, everybody. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Days Gone has been in development for six years. Now, the basic premise to this is that you play a biker dude who lost his wife in the post-apocalypse. Yep. There are zombies, yeah, because of course there's zombies mm -hmm. in the post-apocalypse. And then he finds a girl, uh, her name was Ellie, right? <laughs> and they have to find a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he does actually find a girl at one point, he but it does. was just one single quest, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah. quite funny. So, I thought I heard him call her Ellie, maybe ma right. maybe I didn't. She's like, don't call me that, wrong Yeah, way. and then she showed him, and he was like, oh, I've gotten bitten, and, and that's how the story starts. So, anyway. so he, it's a zombie game, biker dude. Um, the thing is, it's open world, right? So, and it's a very open world feeling game, which we'll definitely come back to. Um, but it's also very narrative driven as well, you know. A lot which of, I was surprised about. Yeah, very much. And I think maybe that's probably just a good point to lead off with with this discussion, yeah, mm. which is, if I may, Sam. Thank sure, you very much. I will allow. I was really surprised going into this how strong the narrative hook was. Um, by the way, we, we went hands-on with the game for like two or three hours. Which so I mentioned that a good chunk of it, right? I was really surprised, you know, like it really does have some really fantastic presentation, some fantastic voice acting, some really well-written cutscenes with mm. characters that sort of speak like normal humans as opposed to like, I am a video game character yeah. expressing like Evil emotion <laughs> or anthem, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, Gotta move out. Now what's the problem? Is something following us? Hey, we still have a job to do. All of those elements really clicked, I thought, extremely well. And um, they carried a lot of the experience for me. Because as I said, we played about three hours of it. Mm. And I didn't have the best time playing it, I won't lie, which we'll talk about. But I will say that during those cutscenes, I was like, this is good. Yeah, I think a lot of games come along and at the beginning, a lot of games just need that initial narrative hook to get you into the game and this did a really good job of that. It yeah. set it up in the first 10 minutes of what's going on while you're there, like it's all very clear and I think in this particular game it really needed that and this particular game especially, I think narrative is so important because we'll get to the other parts later but it really kind of knits it all together. Without a narrative that you really care about, I think this game would be kind of lost, you know? Very much, because, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, if we talk about the environment now, like, the environment is an open world, but it's not really doing something that's, you know, fundamentally different to any other open worlds, you know? Yeah. It, really, it gives you an experience that you're like, cool, I've done this before, I've seen this before, uh, you know, and it kind of looks a bit like Far Cry, like Far Cry, it you is, know, does, does. and it, it, it's very much that experience with zombies, in my opinion. This game's been in development for six years, right? And you get the sense that if this was released six years ago, you'd be like, whoa, this is fucking awesome. But this has been the open world game generation, mm. okay? It's, it's where everything has gone open world. And you've seen the full gamut of it, where it's been really fantastic and it's really worked well, like for like Horizon Zero Dawn, another Sony game. And then you've seen it where it doesn't really work that well, like for example, Ghost Recon Wildlands, where it's just super repetitive. I know some people love that game, but I don't know, most people just found it really dull and repetitive, right? Mm. This just feels like it's been in the oven for a really long time. It feels quite polished in most regards. Like it looks extremely pretty. It has a lot of the right elements, but it just seems like its open world formula does feel a bit dated and stale because you are going around on a big giant map, yeah. you're riding a motorcycle, which is like your mount, and yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. you're and you're fostering for supplies in your locations. Um, you've got to clear out specific places to sort of like clear the map and make it safe. Mm. Uh, you know, you, you get to a certain point and it's for a mission to do X, and you have to clear out you know zombies to be able to progress through that part. It does feel quite rote, you know, like yeah, it really and, and does. Kind of bland in a way, but I don't necessarily think. 
it, it doesn't tarnish the whole experience, okay? Because I do think, as I said, I do think it has a lot of redeeming qualities. And most, I think so. Most of it is the story. But it, I, the weapon mechanics, they also do kind of feel relatively generic. I, I actually would go so far as to say weapon mechanics felt bad. And I was kind of in a, at a position during the, my playthrough where mm. I was like, I don't want to use my weapon. I will actually just try and melee everything with a baseball bat when I can. Because <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. way easier and way more satisfying. Yeah. Because the weapons, they're not really sticking to their targets properly. It's yeah. just that the feedback wasn't right. Like, I really was just not great to fire a gun in that game. And given how important that is, that wasn't great. I you think know? also because the environments are so spaced out, you really want to make sure that, you know, the weapons do feel accurate. And unless you're using a sniper rifle, every other weapon felt like very hit and miss yeah, if yeah. it's a far, far away target. We are talking about, like, small town America where there's a lot of open areas and a yeah. lot of grassland and whatever, right? And it just didn't really fit in terms of the weapons. Now, I didn't think they were bad. I just felt... Well, I mean, maybe they were bad, but I just felt more they were bland and a bit boring. Yeah. But I didn't think... I, I didn't look at them and go, Oh my god, these are horrendous, like 76. No, I agree. You know? I agree with that. I didn't I do think they were that. meme 76 mechanics. That's I just true. feel like maybe they need a bit of tweaking. There's obviously, with open world games, there's like your whole sort of progression tree as well. Mm. So you can you know unlock skills and you know, put perk points into things to make it so you're, you have like a focus mode so you sort of slow down time when you're firing or when you walk over a corpse that you shot with a crossbow, mm. then your crossbow bolts automatically pick themselves up. There's all that sort of stuff that you've come to expect. Um, I guess one of the unique features of the game is zombie hordes. Now, the way this works is that, you know, just imagine like a lot of zombies, hundreds of zombies, maybe not hundreds, I've never seen so many zombies actually like yeah. flowing at you in a game. And that was actually. really the... the That's quite cool. It was. That was actually the selling point of the game when they first revealed it at E3 mm. a few years ago the, uh, this sort of horde of zombies is like a flood of water that just kind of like breaks over a dam yeah. it was quite impressive and that technology exists here like it's real you will see that sort of thing happening mm. and the and your goal in those sorts of instances is to kind of kite or, or sort of lead that um, zombie horde around and blow them up with environmental traps yeah. and shoot them and sort of wear them down over time so you'll encounter those in the open world map and you need to kill those hordes to make the open world map safe. Yeah, and, and that's one of the redeeming qualities of the environments because, of course, at some points it is bland, but then when you are encountering those kind of hordes, using the environment then kind of revitalizes why you're why you want to explore a bit or why you want to be in that in those areas but there's mm. another part of the environment in terms of the bike mechanics where you've got to repair shit and you've got to put like more fuel into the bike i like that personally i personally didn't look i didn't really like it because it got annoying but at the same time it's one of those mechanics where i can I can appreciate because it does make you feel like you want to take care of your bike you and you and it gives you a scarcity uh, feeling in this wasteland where it's zombies now so I get it and I do think it serves it actually but it wasn't it was annoying at times that's well, for sure because I had a time when I got knocked off my bike and it was damaged and yes. I needed to fight because my bike bike was broken so yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. the mechanic for yeah that definitely so. and, it, and then you also choose certain environments based on how much you don't want to damage your bike so I totally yeah. get it and again that's something also redeeming about the environment but I mean if we really look at it as, as a complete picture, it's going to be a game between the triple A's. It's going to serve a purpose. It's going to get an audience. It's maybe going to see a sequel. It, it, you know, it does its job at, at presenting a decent game. Nothing that it's not really doing anything. It's not pushing anything forward. The yeah. narrative seems strong, but I hope uh, it does well. I think I feel like if you want to be like Sons of Anarchy, yeah. dude. I've never, in watched, I've, I've never watched that show, so I don't know. I think it was one episode, but anyway. If you want to be a know. biker dude, it's pretty cool. You know, yeah. in the sense that like, it's a cool set of characters, it's got a great theme. Oh, there was a little town hub as well that we didn't mention. Yes. Which was actually really awesome. Mm. Um, where you can like sort of buy weapons and upgrades and trade in the zombie ears that you've mm. got for currency and all sorts of stuff. They upgrade your bike, whatever. So the theme of like being the biker guy in a post-apocalyptic world that feels quite realistic, mm. I think it's nailing that theme, right? That that part of it's all clicking together really well. And I yeah. think if you hook into that theme, authentic. I think if you hook into that theme, you're really gonna, you might enjoy this game a lot. But if you were to say for me personally, am I psyched for this game? I'd say not really. It does feel like a lot of open world games that I've played before. It does not feel like a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. Exactly. It just doesn't feel like a great game. So mm. I and I and I feel that's okay. Like not every game needs to be, you know, nine out of ten. Some games are just good for a few people, or yeah. you know, for that for a certain audience. And I'm very confident that this game will find an audience and that people will enjoy it for what it is. Mm. But I think a lot of people also will be like, "This is so shitty. It's just The Last of Us no, open I, world." It's like, no, I, it, I, it I, is that partly, but at the yeah. same time, like it's. 
it's not quite that. So like, let's just not let's not let's not try and make everything the yeah, last of us. I feel know? like this. I, I slightly disagree with that. I think this will get a relatively. It, it, I feel like it'll fly under the radar. It'll get a f relatively positive reception. I don't think there's going to be a huge backlash on Reddit for this game kind of thing. Yeah, It'll just yeah, be yeah. like, this is what it's doing, you know. And, and I, again, I think it's going to be fitting between the big AAA games. It's going to serve a purpose. And I think some people will enjoy it based on the narrative hook and looks maybe the environment too. But all in all, I think that it really is the story that will, will yeah. keep people around. It's a 30-hour game apparently 30 too. 30 hours long. Is that's really what. The, that's long. the word on the street that it's going to be 30 hours. And I don't know if. All these mechanics is yeah. gonna hold up for thirty hours, but who knows? Look, and we'll, we'll probably do another review when it actually fully comes out. But um, right now, it's kind of looking like you know, yeah, sure, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. so check it out if it interests you. Um, if not, check back for a review later on. Uh, it is a Sony game, you know, so yeah. I feel like its biggest enemy is the fact that it is a Sony game, and everyone will be like, why isn't this as good as God of War <laughs> yeah, you or know? Last of Us? Because yeah. that's also like you know, in bed with Sony. But so. hopefully, it can overcome that and find an audience. But uh, that's it, guys. That's the episode for today. We'll be back tomorrow with. Captain Marvel? Oh uh, no, we're doing Captain Marvel the next day. Oh, okay, right. so you guys wait for that. Get ready There's for a the, lot of stuff in the, the on Reddit alert. and Metacritic and shit and Rotten Tomatoes. Well, actually, there's, there's less stuff on Rotten Tomatoes these days. Yeah, than I used know. To be, Am so. I right? So, guys, we will also be giving you that review on Friday or Saturday. Well, Friday our time. I don't know what that is in America. Or whatever. Right? Time differences. Are I think impossible. we're ahead. I think we're ahead in time. We're in, yeah. we're in the future, everybody. And we're also upside down. Oh, all that kind of stuff too. See you guys. felt that what we're doing at the Anthem is really the next kind of evolutionary step uh, for Bioware.